Okay, guys, so I'm here to preview the Pittsburgh Steelers in the 2012 season. Now, last year, the Pittsburgh Steelers went 12 and 4, second in the AFC North to the Ravens because of a tiebreaker. They eventually lost in the first round of the playoff to Kim Keeble Red Denver Broncos. They had a pretty good season last year considering that they were first in overall defense. and 12 in overall offense. They allowed 99 yard rushing per game and 171 yard packing per game. This is on the defensive side and on the offensive side. Per game, they average 118 yards rushing and 253 yards passing. Now, I expect the passing numbers to go down. I expect them to be around 15 and the rushing offense to go up since Big Ben has a lot of injuries. He said he has a great care of his rotator cuff and that ankle in the arena is still bothering him. So I would expect Richard Mendenhall can carry more balls. And last year, in 15 games, he had 228 carries for 928 yards for 9 cooks. For nine rushing touchdowns, he had 18 receptions for a buck 54 with no touchdowns. So I expect his ca carry to go up between him and Isaac Redman. They'll carry the ball over. 330 times, I expect, and for Rashawn, Rashawn Mendenhall, I expect him to carry the ball like 260 times for 1,100 yards, considering that Big Bang is going to grow less because of his to injury and they're gonna rely on the running game, which I'm fine with, by the way. Now, since I'm talking about Big Ben, let's look at his stats for last year. In the 15 games, in, including the Playoffs because I believe if, if my memory serves me correctly, he missed a couple games last year. He had a 63.2 completion percentage for 4,077 yards, 21 touchdowns, 14. Interception. I expect those numbers in terms of touchdown and yards to go down just a bit 
because of those injuries, I expect them to go for about 35 to 37 hundred yards, 19 touchdowns, 12 interceptions because of because of the injuries. Now, another key factor that I'm missing from training camp is Mike Wallace because of a contract dispute. At the end of the day, I think he'll be there by the start of the season and kick with Ben Roethlisberger. Ben Roethlisberger. Mike Wallace averaged last year in the full season, seven to reception for 1193 yards and eight touchdowns. I, I expect him to catch 65 bar, balls for 1100 yards, similar numbers, but shut you down because of Big Bang injury. Now, considering that the offense is gonna have to go to the running game, I expect the defense to step it up. Now, they lost a defensive guard and Larry Foot to get cut him they released him and on the offensive side Hank Ward retired but I don't expect them to affect affect them at all since they got people like the Marwoody Lawrence Kimmings and James Harrison, along with Troy Palomaro, Ryan Clark, and Brett Kiesel, and a whole bunch of other people, including Casey Hampton. Now, let's look at James Harrison and Troy Palomaro's stack. In 11 games, James Harrison had 59 tackles for 9 sacks, which was pretty good considering he missed 5 games. Now, let's look at Lamar Woodley's sacks also. In 10 games, because of injury, he had 39 tackles, nine sacks, and one interception. Again, I expect those two guys to play a full season and be as productive as they can be and improve that first ring defense. Now, Troy Palomaro in the full season had nine, 91 tackles, one shot, one shot, two shots, two interceptions, one fumble, and one touchdown. I expect him to produce around the same since he's the best safety in the league. So, I pretty much think that defense is going to be ranked first again, considering the people they have on the defense rank, who I expect them to be there for a full season and produce. Now, 
Let's look at the schedule. The Big Bang Series schedule. They start off at Denver. I believe they won that game just because it's Peyton Manning's first game back for the regular season and I think he's going to be emotional, be a little bit off his rocker, and make some passes. Next, they face the Jets and the Oakland Raiders. I believe they win those games the first game I see them moving is after the bye to Philly at home. Just because normally some teams struggle off of the bye. So the, the rest of the schedule It's pretty smooth saying after that. So I have them going 12 and 4 again, losing to Philly at New York Giants. I see them also losing one of those games to think. Cincinnati on the road October 21st, so. And the other game I see them moving. Is at Baltimore, December 2nd. So I have them rolling 12 and 4. First in the AFC North, behind King Kenai, and Baltimore and their place, and Cleveland in last place. So that's it for the day, guys. Peace.